Hello and good morning my foxes. Today we're going to cover how to duo Bandos. This is a great boss to start with because he drops the Bandos set as well as the Bandos God Sword which are quite useful. Getting there. Use one of your Trollheim teleport tabs and climb down the mountain. Revert the second one to a home teleport tab at any time now that you're here. Run around the mountain with Prey from Ranged On until you get to the rock or crack. Push the boulder if you have 60 strength or squeeze through the crack if you have 60 agility. Note that if you haven't done Edgar's Ruse and you don't have 61 magic, you'll need climbing boots. Also note that if you haven't completed making friends with my arm, the chill effect will drain your run completely and drain your other stats by one every second you remain in the area. There are also high level ice wolves you need to walk past. If it's your first time, make sure to bring a rope so you can climb down into the dungeon. Once you get to the Bando store, you'll need a hammer, so you're going to kill a goblin, drop a piece of food, pick up the hammer, walk through the door, and drop another piece of food. You're going to walk back through the door now, pick up the first piece of food, then head through the door one more time, and drop the hammer, thusly picking up the second piece of food. It's worth noting that instead of using an ecumenical key, you can also very easily and quickly kill 40 goblins while in the God War dungeon. If you leave the dungeon though, it will reset your total. Boss Mechanics The general will attack with two styles, his melee which hits up to a 60, or his ranged, where he slams the ground, emitting a shockwave to everyone inside his chambers dealing a minimum of 15 and a maximum of 35 if it hits. It's a two-thirds chance it'll be melee and a one-third chance his attack will be ranged. He also has three minions that will be attacking one of you the entire time. Sergeant Steel Wheel is the most dangerous as he launches yellow magic dealing up to 16 damage. Sergeant Strong Stack is next who will hit you with his flail doing up to 15 damage. Then it's Sergeant Grimspike who will be chucking throwing axes at you dealing up to 21 damage. You can refill your prayer with the altar in the back of the room every 10 minutes and if you have any bandos equipped it'll give you a plus one prayer bonus per piece. My partner's stats. He's total level 1785 with level 88 attack, 90 strength, 86 defense, 95 range, and 94 hit points. My stats are I'm total level 1708 with 78 attack, 84 strength, 75 defense, 82 ranged, 71 prayer, and 82 hit points. Range setup. Gear. I'm using an Armadil Coif, Ava's Accumulator, Amulet of Fury, Holy Blessing, Blowpipe, Zamrak Blessed Dehyde Top, Bandos Blessed Dehyde Bottoms, and Ceradomen Blessed Dehyde Boots, with Barrow's Gloves and an Unimbued Archer's Ring. Inventory Bring Guthans with you, 4 Ranging Potions, at least 2 Ceradomen Brews with 7 Super Restores, and 7 High Healing Food like Mana Ray. I brought an Ecumenical Key, but again, you can just as easily kill 40 Goblins. Some bones to Peach's tabs, a rune pouch with at least fire and nature runes to High Elk, and two Trollheim teleport tabs. Ranging Strategy Find an empty world, drink a dose of your ranging potion, throw on Pray for Mage, and enter the room behind your tank. Wait a couple seconds for your tank to get a hit or two on the general, then start attacking him yourself. Once he's down, if you have aggro from the minions, turn on Pray for Magic, switch to your Guthans equipment if you need health, and attack Sergeant Steel Wheel first. Note, but since I am using the blowpipe, I can use a spec to heal if it hits. It's also worth noting that your tank can lose aggro, but don't fret. Throw on protect from melee and stand still. Stop hitting the boss and let the tank get a couple good hits in to draw aggro back. Once steel wheel is down, switch your prayer to range and take down sergeant strong stack. Lastly, keep prey from range on and go from sergeant grimspike. Once they are dead, you successfully down bandos. If you don't have aggro once the general is dead, you can turn off all your prayer before switching to Guthans and just kill the minions. Usually the person who got the killing hit in on the general will get the aggro. Once the general is down, you will see a timer counting down when he will respawn. Use this time to eat if Guthans didn't heal you enough, use the altar at the back of the room, pick up or high elk the loot to make more space in your bag. Then get ready to pop prey from ranged back on for your next fight. Remember to switch back to your main gear if you are using Guthans to heal. Repeat this as many times as you want or until you run out of supplies. Melee Strategy Gear I wear my Serpentine Helm, Bandos Cloak, Amulet of Fury, Unholy Blessing, Abyssal Whip, Harrow's Top, Dragon Defender, Varex Plague Skirt, Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Boots, and an Unimbued Berserker Ring. Inventory Bring your Guthans gear, 2 Super Combat Potions, 5 Super Restores, 3 Ceradomen Brews, 10 Mana Ray, 
I did bring an ecumenical key again, but you can easily kill 40 goblins instead. Some bones to peaches tabs, some nature and fire rooms for high elking, and two trollheim teleport tabs. Note, since I only have a Bandos and Zami item, the Armadil God Wars creatures will aggro to me, so to avoid this, when you drop down, run north a little ways and then west to the Bandos door. Meleeing the boss. Find an empty world, drink a dose of your super combat potion, and then turn on prey from range. Wait for your tank to enter and follow behind them. Wait till your tank gets a hit or two in, then start attacking the general. It doesn't matter where you stand. Once he's down, it's just like when you did range. You're going to switch to steel wheel, and if you have aggro, put protect from mage on. If you don't, leave your prayers off, switch to your gussens, and just down the minions. Watch the timer for the general's respawn. Make sure to eat, drink, use the altar, high elk, and pick up loot as necessary. Remember to also switch back to your main gear, and then just repeat these steps until you're satisfied or have run out of supplies. Tanking strategy. Gear. I use pretty much the same cheaper setup that I used to melee in with a couple changes. So my Serpentine Helmet, my Fire Cape, Amulet Fury, Unholy Blessing, Abyssal Whip, Pharaoh's Top, instead of the Dragon Defender I bring a Crystal Shield, Varric's Skirt, Pharaoh's Gloves, and instead of the Dragon Boots I use Guardian Boots which count as a Bandos item, and an Imbued Ring of Suffering. Inventory. I also set up my inventory for tanking a little differently than my melee setup. Bring Guthans, 2 Super Combat Potions, 5 Super Restores, 4 Ceridoman Brews, 9 Mana Rays. I did bring an Acumenical Key again, but you can kill 40 Goblins instead. Some Bones to Peaches, some Fire and Nature Runes if you decided to be the High Elker for the group, and 2 Trollheim Teleports. Tanking the Boss. Find an open world and set up your Quick Prayers. Right click your Prayer icon on the minimap and click Set Up. Then tick Protect from Melee and Piety if you have it. Drink a dose of your super combat potion, click on your quick prayers, and enter the room. Once inside, immediately attack the general. Now you want to attack twice, then walk under him. It might seem hard, but it's rather easy. Once you click the general, right click at his feet and hover over walk here. Wait until you see your guy hit him a second time, then click walk here. Wait about 3-5 to five seconds. Eat or drink if necessary in this time. If you've done it right, you should see the boss move around trying to get a good angle on you. After a few seconds, click on him to attack him again. Then right click his feet and hover over walk here. Wait till you see your character attack the second time and click walk here. Repeat this until he is dead. Note that this is very easy to misstep, either by not actually walking under him or taking a huge hit that can make you panic. If this happens, or you run out of food, just walk under him. Then keep walking under him. It should keep you alive long enough to eat, drink, or kill him off and go resupply. With the general down, turn off quick prayers, and if you have aggro, switch to your Gusson's gear and take down Steel Will by putting on Protect from Magic. Again, if you don't have aggro, you can just turn all your prayers off, make sure you switch to Gusson's, and just kill the minions. In the order of Steel Wheel, Strong Sack, and Grim Spike. Then keep an eye on that respawn timer for the general and use the rest of the time to pick up loot, eat, drink, use the altar or high elk as necessary. Then just repeat these steps. If you have them, Quick Prayer Melee, Piety, and Preserve, which is helpful for Super Combat Potions, making them last 50% longer for boosted stats. As a tank, if you want to use Vengeance, it can be very useful, but it's not necessary. And that's how you can easily duo Bandos in three different ways. Thanks a ton for watching, and until next time.